Mattis just gave the military their balls back with what he just did today to piss Obama off. For the past eight years, Barack Hussein Obama made an absolute mockery of our military, transforming it into his little social media experiment by allowing transgenders to openly enlist, while forcing our soldiers to march in gay pride parades and wave around rainbow flags. Compound his antics of making us the laughing stock of the world with hollowing out our military to pre World War II capabilities and it's clear to see why this ASS Ceylon wasn't at all respected as our country's commander-in-chief. But with a new sheriff in town in the form of Mad Dog Mattis running things as our nation's new defense secretary, and he's announcing plans to put a stop to Obama's crap once and for all, in a move that predictably has liberals around the country in a seething rage. Barack Hussein Obama's mandate to allow transgender individuals to openly serve in our armed forces was just permanently axed thanks to the senior military personnel from multiple branches agreeing with Mattis that these ridiculous policies had to go. The decision came about after the Deputy Defense Secretary ordered heads of the armed sources to re-evaluate Obama's transgender policies, where they immediately determined that transgenders were not beneficial to the military's readiness. USA Today reported, a top Pentagon official has called on the civilian and uniformed leaders of the armed services to report on their plans to begin accepting new transgender troops by July 1, according to a memo obtained by USA Today. Last year, the Pentagon rescinded its ban on transgender troops, allowing those in uniform to serve openly. The policy, established under then-Defense Secretary Ash Carter in the Obama administration, also called for the services to develop plans to educate troops about transgender issues and to accept enlisted recruits and officer candidates by this summer. The May 8 memo from Deputy Defense Secretary Robert Work instructs the service secretaries and chiefs of the armed services to assess the military's readiness to begin accepting transgender applicants on July 1, 2017. Their assessments are due May 31. The memo also contains language that one of the architects of the transgender policy interprets as an opportunity for the services to back out of recruiting transgender troops by raising the issue of how they could affect readiness for combat. The memo that leading top brass were given as guidance for their decision said that any obama wear policy that was currently a determinant to our military's ability to fight should immediately be reversed. For example this clown below, Sergeant Patricia who served under Obama as an infantry unit leader by day but a cross-dressing confused individual by night. The personnel policies of this department are designed to enhance the warfighting readiness and lethality of the force that protects our country, the memo stated. We do not intend to reconsider prior decisions unless they cause readiness problems that could lessen our ability to fight, survive, and win on the battlefield. Predictably, liberals were up in arms over the decision, outraged that two transgender officers who were scheduled to graduate will now not be able to enter the military because of the policy change. USA Today whined, developing a policy on accepting new transgender troops is taking on new urgency. Later this month, two transgender cadets one at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point and another at the Air Force Academy in Colorado are scheduled to graduate and receive degrees but neither will be commissioned as officers because the military has not yet developed a policy to accept them. Coincidentally, the military's most famous transgender service member, Private Chelsea Manning, was released May 17 from Army Prison, her 35-year sentence for the massive leak of classified information to WikiLeaks commuted in January and shortened to seven years by then-President Obama. Thank God our military is being run by people with common sense now that Trump is in office, not idiots like Obama with his treasonous American-hating agenda. It's extremely embarrassing that this sort of nonsense was ever adopted by our military in the first place. We need committed soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen who are committed and focused to defending our country from all enemies. Not people joining the military so they can get free gender reassignment surgery and spend their entire military careers incessantly whining about needing special bathrooms and barracks constructed just for them. H slash T USA Today, Conservative Tribune. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.